Right everyone, weapon collector here. Right, I've got a review of this Vast Fire tactical flashlight. So, I'll call this the Vast Fire Zoomable Flashlight, but there's various names for this, and the actual name on Amazon is just a massive keywords. But I'll put that in the description, so you can actually search the title that they do in case the, um, the links don't work anymore. So this is a flashlight with multiple modes, rechargeable, works as a power bank and is zoomable and is quite a nice decent size. I think this would be a good nighttime EDC flashlight that could possibly be a rival to the classic Maglite. So I'll go over some of the stats on it first. So it's 5,000 lumens with quite a nice big lens tactical bezel on it so it has the standard light that zooms just by moving the head it has a secondary light here that has various uh, modes here is where you charge it and where you can use it as a power bank you can see the USB there and it has two 6650 batteries two of those and you also get these sleeves so you can use 18650 batteries and obviously the uh, charging wire and you also get a lanyard so the flashlight itself is aluminium aircraft grade aluminium I'd assume um, nice black rugged finish on there nice knurling quite comfortable in the hand you can see the size of it there I'll show you the batteries as well. Batteries are included and they upgraded these batteries. I think they used to use something else before. It now has two of the 22650 batteries and these are 3.6 volts and 5000 milliamps. So that just screws in there and I think this will unscrew here as well if need be. Yeah, it will. So it'll unscrew there as well. To zoom in, as mentioned, you just move the head back and forward. To turn it on, there's a button here, and you also have some lights just there to show you the charge. So there it is on, this is fully charged, and then you would move this in and out to zoom it. I will show you that properly. So single press turns it on and it will start on high, second press will put it on to low, third press will start it strobing and it will go off. Double press that and you get the side light to come on. That starts on high, medium or low, whatever, high and low. Red, strobing red and then off. To charge it, you would just plug the USB in, and to use it as a power bank, you would plug the USB in there, plug it into whatever you want. What I'll do now is I'll show you some footage outdoors and inside.
so there you go. You can see the quality of the light. The beam distance on this is 500 meters and it will run on a full charge for four hours on the highest setting. That's actually really good. That's because of those batteries. One meter impact resistance. So the length of this is, so it's 26 centimeters unextended. When it's extended, it is 28.5 centimeters. 34 millimeter wide handle and a 60 millimeter head. Weighs with the batteries in 658 grams. So not all that heavy for something this size, but if this makes sense, it's a nice weight. It's probably heavier than a mag light, or at least as heavy as a mag light. So the high on this is 5,000 lumens and the low is 3,000 lumens. So I just wanted to show you a comparison of this next to a mag light quickly, so you can see the difference. And as you can see there, very similar size really. The mag lights are very well respected lights but they are slightly dated with some of the technology you, they use. You can upgrade them, but if you buy something like this, it's already got all of the upgrades in it that you would add to this and more. I do think this could definitely be a good alternative if you struggle to get a mag light or don't like the mag light. This one's been modded, so it's got a lanyard, but this comes with a lanyard. I don't know whether you'd want to make that hole bigger and put a bigger lanyard through that's up to you but yeah I think this would make a really good nighttime flashlight for someone working on security or something like that or guarding somewhere or anything where you want a larger flashlight uh, yeah that needs to be slightly big and heavy so the price on this is probably one of the best things if you get this from the US Amazon so that's amazon.com it'll cost you $50. Now, what's that? 40 quid? Something like that? 40 quid for a torch that is with the batteries. Amazing. And the link I provide, you will be able to buy it as well. Amazon.com doesn't always ship to the UK. Here's a little tip for you. If you ever go on Amazon.com, look through the listings. As long as that listing has a price underneath it, they will ship to the UK. They've changed their settings now. So if it doesn't have a price, don't even click on it. If it has a price underneath, they should ship to the UK. $49. Now there is a bit you can click and go to the UK Amazon. And then this is suddenly £90. So not quite a good, not such a good deal. Although I would still say this is probably worth 90 quid. But 40 quid for this, amazing. So definitely try and get it from the US Amazon if you can. I think it may even ship from the UK, but you're just buying it through the US Amazon. Yeah, really good quality, really decent light. Let's have a look at the thickness of the handle, because I think that's one thing people would probably think about, you know, if they wanted a heavier flashlight. But yeah, it's decently thick, a nice lot of thread in there. So it should be very strong, I think get the batteries with it and everything. Got that lovely big bezel on the end. Real nice hard steel. And supposedly this is suited for breaking glass as well. So if you had to smash a window to escape somewhere, this is actually made to do that. So there you go. That's what I call the vast fire zoomable flashlight. The real name is full of um, keywords and stuff like that, but that'll be in the description. And there'll be links straight to this if you want, them, want it anyway. Yeah, I'll definitely recommend that, and that'll probably now be my nighttime EDC flashlight, just because it's got those slightly better features than the mag light. I do like the mag light. The only thing I'll probably do, as I said, is drill a bigger hole in the back of that for a bigger lanyard that's not really suitable for me. $50 or around about 40 quid probably for a really nice decent flashlight that I think could definitely rival the mag light. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share, definitely subscribe if you like my videos. 
and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.